Our coverage continues tonight on a disturbing discovery out of Marlin. We do need to warn you this story will be graphic to some viewers. The Falls County Sheriff is investigating conditions at the Marlin Animal Control Center after at least one dog was found dead. Reports of other dogs being malnourished and kennels dirty. Here's what we know tonight. Walking in here and seeing that just made me really kind of feel disgusted and felt like I needed to at least do something. Central Texas resident Jeffrey Rich was just looking for his lost dog when he found a deplorable situation. I lifted up the tarp and I seen a deceased dog. And from that point, I just started walking around the perimeter, looking at all the other dogs, seeing that they were covered in feces, no water, no food. He took to Facebook, sharing these photos and videos of the Marlin Animal Control Center, a place that runs by the city's animal control officer, a person that reports to police chief James Hommel. Would you say there's been any wrongdoing here at this building? So I think we have need a training on cleaning the kennels. Uh, maybe we ha I haven't been cleaning them as good as maybe we should have been cleaning them. Uh, we're going to look at our policies. Hummel says someone checked on the dogs Tuesday morning and all were reportedly alive then. We only had nine dogs back there. These are some of the dogs that we do pick up off the streets. So th that is the main thing is, is these aren't uh, some of these dogs came in this way. He says a vet came by to check on the dogs and provide feedback to make the facility better. Now there's an outside investigation underway by the Falls County Sheriff's Office. I think it'd be improper for the city to handle this type of situation in-house. Uh, it's not going to look good for them. If you're getting paid to tend to these type of animals, then this shouldn't have never have happened. But for Rich, who brought this situation to light, he wants accountability and opportunity. Not every animal shelter is, you know, a good one. And if you can come out and adopt a dog, um, if not from here, then another local shelter, you know, giving somebody a second chance. Well, Rich did take home one of the dogs today to help nourish him back to health. Other Central Texans like rescue groups were also on scene today. We will be following up on the Sheriff's Office investigation and any findings that they give to the district attorney.